I'm going to put this up, and I'm just going to put the end to it because I get, the video's going off, so I'm not sure I'll get this up. I'm Margaret Ann Wazer. I just put up four or five videos today, and they're very important because it just might affect you, and I would suggest you check them out. Today's Passover, the uh, uh, Friday of 2016. Oh, I was kidnapped and brought to Moulton, Alabama, from Buckingham Palace. My dad said it was the eighth. He married uh, Claudia Ruth O'Keefe, my mom, sister to Georgia O'Keefe, American artist. He never married Wallace Simpson. She married a double, an imposter, and the Kennedys, who was ambassador to England during that time, the Rockefellers, Rothschilds, Bilderbergers, helped to kidnap me. My own uncle, illegal George the Sixth, and his daughter was the illegal Elizabeth. They're members of the various people that kidnapped me and helped take over Great Britain. Feel it. Um, so they took down my father, the monarch. They kidnapped me, the monarch, Victoria the Second, and I am the legal heir. I put all these photos up, so I want to go to this part. I've told you about the FBI when I got the letter and the times I've seen them and what happened over the years. Got the letter in uh, 1979, June the 23rd. I thought it was because of the book I wrote. I ended up finding out about my kidnapping and remembering in 19, late 1983. Now I want to get back to being up here. I'm skipping because I put all this up and I get back around and I run out of tape on the video and you have to start doing it again. So I didn't put any of the pictures. I put them up today as always in the past videos. So I came uh, to Roanoke and I was going up to the Cross Building, the Federal Building, where they brought Larry Flint in the Falwell parody suit. And uh, I ran into a U.S. Congressman coming out. Can't remember his name. His first name was Jim. And he died. Um, I think he had cancer. But anyway, it looked like he knew I was coming up, and he had a, a folded paper in the uh, landmark. It's the Roanoke Times. Well, the Roanoke Times. And um, I went up to him, and I said, Do you know who I am? And he said, Yes, I do. And he said, The FBI, and he handed me the paper, are the ones that will help you. Well, the paper never helped me, okay? They wrote some slanderous. Uh, articles and never, um, anyway, I'm starving and everything and freezing and begging and I've tried to leave and I'd be run back here. So I went to the FBI office again and I can't remember the year, but I went there, I don't know, uh, might have been 97, 98, I don't know, but I went there, no, it was before then, about 96. Because I went, and you can't get into FBI, they're way back behind the windows and you don't even see them. Anyway, they let me in, in the cost building there, and an agent came out, and he is making it look like, he's role, they're role playing, if you read my other videos today. Uh, he's role playing, and I asked him, I said, do you know who I am? I said, I had a letter from the FBI in Atlanta, and I went in for that, and I said, and by the way, I was kidnapped and brought to this country, and he starts, I said, I can show you the birth certificates. Do you want to see them where the birth uh, dates were changed? So I don't exactly know the year. It might have been after 98 or 99 that that happened. In 90, uh, I mean 2000 maybe. But anyway, I asked him, did he want to see the birth certificates? that they'd been marked through that was illegally. Well, he went into, I can't tell you how, was screaming and yelling and scooting away from me and saying, no, 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 I don't want to know about kidnapping, birth certificates, nothing. And suddenly he's berserk. He's role-playing. So where they made me look, uh, because people chose to do it that way, there's not one word I said that they people didn't believe. They didn't want to get involved. It's one thing to give out. Uh, to another country and make yourself look good, but if you're between the choice uh, of paying for your crimes here or the law enforcement has got something on your kids and uh, going to prosecute it if you don't help, 
Well, they all folded. They couldn't work to hurt me anyway. They didn't care. They would have done it for free. So, um, I let, before I left the FBI office, so he, and you have to laugh, he's the person role playing like he's deserting now, and the birth certificates, oh no, don't want to see them. The twins, and there was a name they gave me when they kidnapped me and brought me over here. So he says, but I will send one of my best agents out there to talk to you. Well, I'm living in the National Forest, so I walk out the door, and he did send Robert out there. And there's a whole story behind this, but this is all I'm going to say. He was a U.S. Marshal, and here you've got me, and it can be a joke, but it was hell. Every moment was hell. I'm leaving out the snakes, the bears, the starving and freezing. But you've got me trying to keep a few things together. Uh, when I had a little money and got a backpack and a um, sleeping bag and et cetera, and a tent. And I had a suitcase to carry me in because I'm getting where I can't carry them on my back. Well, you've got Robert that was sent out there by the FBI. They said he was a, mar uh, was a FBI agent at their best. Well, it turns out he's a marshal, but they change hats, believe me. Uh, they work for different agencies, and they'll tell you they don't. But anyway, he's out there, and we're going up Salt Pond Road, and he helped me move from one end to the other and drag the... And this is on a gravel road and up a trail that we pull my suitcases, and uh, I remember him saying, I'm not a backpack, you know, but I guess I was. All right, But Robert was nice. But then there's the downside to that. They soaked my tents, and they'd end up with my tents, and I was um, paying to try to live in a... Anyway, they run me with sealants and chemicals. I'm allergic to chemicals. I have an immune disorder, and when I'm around toxic fumes, my immune system attacks itself. And over the years, the inflammation has gotten to every part of my body, my lungs, my kidneys, my veins, etc. But this is how they run me. So I don't know that, um, try and think, I guess that's about it that I wanted to tell. And uh, there's another part of this uh, that I thought was going to trump it all, to use Trump's last name, because he was telling Obama his, he wasn't born in this country. Well, it's me that wasn't, and I am who I am, I've told you. Uh, I'm not going to put this down now. Because it would prove it all. You can't just put this together. I do not know that mind control was used in it. Some might have been. But more likely, it's the agency and the law enforcement that's doing this and the mind control murders that put it together. And uh, I'll, just say, I'll just say that the patterns are played out in this. And they're there. You can't, the timeline and all, you can't deny it. They're still there. I'm not going to put the name up here again. Uh, maybe this will be told. Anyway, uh, I hope it is. I hope it's not covered up because that scenario, there might have been some mind control. The patterns were certainly used. Uh, but mind control to a degree, but more likely it was put together and uh, orchestrated and they agreed to it. The family did. So I'll leave it as that uh, for the moment. Maybe it'll be told and uh, the world will know it, okay?